Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Coach Brian here with CriticalBench.com. Thanks for tuning in. And I'm sharing a little bit about weighted vests, and it's pretty much just a review on the weighted vest. Uh, so you might be in the market for shopping to get a weighted vest. Before you shop, uh, do some research and find out the best vest that's going to work for you. In other words, find out the reason why you're going to be using a vest. Now, let's say you're a basketball player or a volleyball player, so you need a vest that's suitable for jumping or you're a runner or a hiker or a climber, you need to find a vest that's suitable for that. The reason why I say that is because if you go on the internet and type in weighted vest, you're going to find probably a thousand different types of vests, and all of them claim to be the best one. Of course, it's just simple business. I have a running vest, and it's suitable for running. I'm not going to use it for anything else because it's very tight and compact, allows my arms to breathe, and it's a lighter, uh, the, the weights are fixed, unlike this one here that I'm wearing. Uh, so everything is a little more compact and suited for ru the running. So that's the main thing. You've got to know the vest that you're after and the reason why you're going to buy that particular vest. Now, if you're just looking for a, a good cross-training vest, a vest that I'm wearing, um, and again, we're not partial to any type of brands, as long as it's suitable for you, it's breathable, and it has removable pouches like this that hold about five or uh, uh, half a pound to a pound of resistance, that way you can, you can uh, adjust the resistance like inside. So if you want to have, you go online, buy a 40 pound vest, but it's removable up to, you know, pretty much nothing. Those are the type of vests that I recommend. And those are usually, you get the most bang for the buck because you can make these as challenging as, want, as you want, or you can make them as easy as you want and progress towards um, more resistance. Again, we're not partial to any type of vest, but like I said a moment ago, you want to make sure that it's breathable it's maneuverable and it also it's removable okay so with all those if you find a vest like that it doesn't matter who makes it um, there uh, it's just simple fabric and resistance that's all you need to know um, I personally don't care for wearing a vest because one it gets hot and in the state of Florida where we live in it's usually very hot um, so I really don't like wearing a weighted vest but they do have a, a place and a purpose especially if you're suffering some kind of uh, injury from your your wrist or your elbow or your shoulder where you, you can't hold a weight right uh, in your hands. I'm holding probably about 20 pounds of resistance on my body. Do some pull-ups, do some, uh, some planks, do some core work, do some squats, whatever. You're going to get a little added bonus on that upper body. So that's it. Hopefully I sh that, that information I share with you is valuable. Hopefully you can apply it into your weighted vest purchasing or, or usage. Um, but other than that, just try it out. You'll get a feel for whether it's comfortable or not. And then you'll try out different exercises and just pretty much go from there. There's something else I'd love to share with you that's going to be even, maybe even more helpful to your, your performance. It's a report that I wrote. It's called the five best core killer exercises. It's right here. Click the arrow that's underneath this video. That's going to open up our video description area. You'll see a link at the top that says criticalbench.com slash core killers. Click that link. Give us your email and the report is on its way to you. Other than that, we'd ask if you can subscribe to our channel, check out our other videos, like this video, share it with somebody you know, and also interact with us. We'd love to hear what you have to say about this video, or maybe you have a question or a suggestion about something else. Let us know what, what you want to talk about. Uh, um, that's it. Coach Brian here with criticalbench.com. Thanks for watching. See you soon.